I want to keep today's video focused on essentially everything except the price action. While I think price action is obviously important and is something we need to be aware of, I think it hasn't been jiving with the fundamentals and we are getting some, some truth coming through the fundamentals. And I think it's going to be pretty important to take a look at this. But obviously the market has not acted that way so far this year and that has been quite frustrating to me, but I've seen this before. I've seen fundamentals not jive at the market, but it's it's been worse than I've ever seen so far this year. And why do I say that? I say that because of the absolute intensity we've seen in the triple Qs since the day SVB failed. And we're going to take things macro longer term here. The day SVB failed and the preceding days after that, people viewed as the end of the Fed tightening. It was almost crazy to think that the Fed could continue to go. I remember it was virtually commonly accepted by CNBC hosts that the Fed was done, or at least going to pause then. Um, But that did not occur. The market rallied on it, continued to rally on it, but that did not occur. Uh, The Fed has hiked two two subsequent times since then. And they project to hike two more times going ahead. So I think we have to let go of any notions of an easing Fed or accommodative monetary policy. We're going to be in an environment with tight monetary policy, with money that's being shredded For the first time, this is a new dynamic we haven't seen. We haven't seen a dynamic where money is literally being shredded for the last 10 years plus in a big way. I mean, I guess now it's going to be 15 years for the last 15 years in a big way. We've seen nothing except printing money. So this is new, you know, typically when we are experiencing a growth slowdown and that is what people are trying to achieve the fed is trying to achieve a growth slowdown the fed will do more accommodated monetary policy that's what china is doing they are actually stimulating their economy that's what we did in covid we stimulated our economy but that's not happening the opposite is happening right now and i don't think that's good for asset prices particularly when there's a lot of debt and that debt is coming due and we're seeing student loan payments resume that is going to be a very large chunk of spending suppression on America's middle class and younger spending people. That's just the truth. So I don't think the forward-looking outlook is phenomenal. And I think the Fed just delivered a surprise. And it honestly has been a lot of surprises this year. The market hasn't done anything, but... I listened to some Fed speak today, Uh, Christopher Waller talking at the IMF, the IMF who has asked us to continue to hike and to continue to suppress and clench economic activity in order to get inflation under control. And he, he went through, as we've discussed, every situation since August today where the market has just not taken what the Fed was going to take or what the Fed was going to do. They literally have chosen to fight the Fed and, you know, expect and and the Fed has continued to go. So the expectations of what the Fed was going to do has evaporated because they just keep get keep being wrong. And yet the market will grant a rally based on the change in expectations But when those expectations don't come to fruition, not recover it. Now, Waller mentioned one one time when they did, and that was August. And he said Jerome Powell smacked them. That's where he went. He literally did that hand motion. I think that's what the Fed is trying to achieve again. I think that's why they're talking in that way. I think that's why they're saying no progress on core inflation. No progress in core inflation. This is why they did two additional hikes. 
they did revise their inflation forecast up because since the last Fed meeting, core inflation has actually increased. It's core PC inflation, that is. Um, but they still grant a rather rapid decline in core inflation, the likes of which they claim they haven't seen. And objectively, I would agree with them. Core, core PC, very flat. Core inflation, definitely not moving despite the hikes. Powell said this on Wednesday. A lot of people didn't really take what he said with any you know, confidence because the next day yields were down at pre Fed announcement levels. Um, but Waller reiterated the same thing again today. That's the truth. So I'm hoping the market and you know market participants finally decide to start listening again to the people who literally control money and what they're saying and what they're trying to achieve. Because what the market has been celebrating is done according to them hasn't even started so that's why I don't want to talk about price action (laughs) I want to talk about fundamentals because I don't think this is going to go on forever I don't think it can so we're seeing today you know one year inflation expectations be roughly the same as five that's not good That means people are going to keep doing what they're doing and expecting, you know, long-term inflation. I think that's like the first step to anchoring inflation because what the Fed is not seeing is core inflation come down. So maybe, you know, people make inflation expectations based on gas prices and energy prices, but those are volatile even when the Fed hasn't printed a lot of money. So... Let's see what happens. We have a big catalyst next week. That catalyst is Jerome Powell testifying on Capitol Hill. I really like this event. And I really think the SVB event is very important. It catalyzed such a tremendous rally that has gotten to absolute craze and mania in the midst of the greatest tightening we've seen ever, essentially, because even in the 80s, they didn't shred money like they are now. From the greatest balance sheet expansion. I mean, this is, we were at close to Weimar Republic stuff. Um, Anyways, Powell testifying on Capitol Hill. The last time he did this, the market was beginning to have a very, very solid pullback, and it was the day before SVB failed. So here it goes again. No bank problems. They've hiked several more times since. They're going to keep hiking. Waller said today that a few mismanaged banks, bank stress, is not going to change the policy outlook. And that's what got this rally going. So, that's today's video. Until next time. Peace out.